Hi, Jesse here with Razor Sharp Networks. Got a quick training for you on how to adjust your settings for email if you're receiving uh, too many unsolicited bulk emails or spam in your inbox. There's a couple of different sections we're going to go through. First is going to be the cPanel admin uh, area, and then we're also going to log into the uh, webmail access for the end user and uh, show you how you can utilize uh, what's called box trap in order to uh, reduce your spam. Uh, even more if the uh, spam assassin or the spam filter is not catching enough spam. So uh, first thing you want to do to log into ag admin area is go to the domain slash cPanel. It'll navigate you to a login page. You're going to put in their username and password that's been provided to you by your host and select the login button. And you're going to be looking for the section that's labeled email within the cPanel admin area. Uh, and most cPanel admins are going to have a, a spam assassin or Apache spam assassin uh, set up in there. So as you can see here, this uh, is set to default three. That's a pretty aggressive spam score uh, and for filtering purposes. Uh, the higher that you set the number, the more conservative the setting, meaning that um, when an email comes in, if it scores a zero, it'll be delivered every time. Uh, as it has more triggers for spam assassin, it actually adds points to it and uh, if it exceeds three in this case it's going to increase the um, or it's going to filter that that email out so if you do want to configure your spam assassin be a little bit more aggressive you go ahead and configure Apache spam assassin at the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to set this to three if we have any uh, domains that we want to whitelist and or emails we can select those in here to ensure that uh, they will always be delivered to us. These are wildcard whitelists, which means we put a asterisk at the domain and all emails from that domain will be delivered. If you have people from a specific domain, uh, let's say like a Gmail account uh, or whatnot, uh, you probably don't want to put a wildcard domain on there. But if it's a company domain um, that you get emails from multiple people within the company, wildcard whitelists uh, make, make it even more effective. Uh, in addition to that, you have your blacklist, and these are from uh, domains or emails that are sending you bulk unsolicited email. And uh, this is kind of a challenge to keep up with because uh, when people do send you unsolicited bulk email, they change the email very fre frequently. So it might be a waste of time to try and filter that uh, at this level. We're going to go ahead and save these settings. And then we're going to go home and we're going to go ahead and check our settings again. As you can see here, uh, we can set that to three. We're going to select auto delete spam. Check our Apache configuration. And again, we've set this very aggressively so that if uh, anybody scores a three or higher uh, in regards to the spam assassin spam score, it's going to filter that out of the system for us. Um, it's going to automatically delete those as well, so it's not going to deliver them to your inbox. Uh, if that seems to be too aggressive, again, you can come in here and uh, be a little bit more conservative, set it at a higher number. Uh, again, I would not go higher than five uh, in regards to spam filtering. Um, so that's the first place that you can look in regards to adjusting the threshold of uh, scoring on your, on your per email basis. Now, in addition to that, we have some options inside of webmail. So if you go to the domain slash webmail.com, you type in your email address and password provided by the provider, select login. You're going to come to the webmail for cPanel. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to set up what's called the box trapper. Now, the box trapper, what this does is for every email that's delivered to you that's not on your whitelist, uh, it'll it'll send them a uh, automated response to have them verify that it's a real person. So it's a uh, one, one more step in uh, the authentication process if they do get past your spam filter um, and uh, hit your inbox, or, or actually they go into a queue, um, the system will send them a notification email uh, requesting that they click a link. They would click the link, and then only after they click the link and authenticated that they are a real person, would the email be delivered there? So in order to enable that, we go ahead and sit, select the enable button. If we want to configure the settings here, we can go ahead and do that as well. Update these settings. Of course, this is the email address that it's going to be configured for. Uh, you can put in your name here. 
number of days that you wish to keep the emails in queue and wait for people to authenticate that they are a real live person. And the minimum Apache score, the spam assassin score required to bypass Box Trapper. So that means anything with a uh, 22.5 or lower spam score, uh, they're actually not even going to go into the Box Trapper. Uh, we want to enable automatic whitelisting. Uh, what this does is that if you actually are sending and or receiving email uh, or the person has already been approved through Box Trapper, they're automatically going to be written to your whitelist and uh, they'll only have to do that one time. They won't have to do it multiple times um, in the Box Trapper. And in addition to that, if you send an email out to an individual, um, the system's going to automatically whitelist the email that you sent to um, so that when they return your message, uh, they won't have to go through the box trapper. So this is going to be for people who have not emailed you in the past, uh, potential uh, unsolicited bulk emailers, and so on and so forth. So again, spam assassin is kind of the first level of defense. If you continue to get additional spam that you don't want and uh, you want to take it to the next level, uh, I would encourage you to utilize the box trapper feature in the end user uh, webmail settings. So. Hopefully this answers your questions. If you need any additional support, please open up a ticket at support.razorsharpnetworks.com.